All right, let's do another one. Let's see. I gotta don't don't mind this this giant zit I got. I didn't put makeup on, obviously. All right, I was going to, but stillness, right? I'm relaxing. Okay, so things could be. Um, it says reflect on this moment with love, kindness, and compassion. And this one says when your heart's intention is to serve humanity, doors of abundance naturally open. Hang on a second. Bam. They said to say bam. Bam. All right. So I just fixed it. All right. I'm in the sun, so it's like shi it was shining right on my, my big zit. All right. Let's see. What's the message? I just reshuffled that. I had to clear my mind. All right. Stillness. It came back out. <laughs> it came back out. Reflect on this moment with love, kindness, and compassion. We got vibration. It says your vibration is being raised to a higher to higher levels. You are connected to cosmic intelligence. Kitty kitty confirms. Right? We see Miata. No limitations. You're a limitless be limitless being. It says, you are a celestial being with unlimited potential. There is much for you to share. Free spirit. To be free spirit is to float without walls, to fly without judgment, and to love without conditions. So I'm picking up, like, you were always a free spirit, but they, they try to paint something different about you, Okay. Like, in a negative light, of course, you have light and dark parts to you, as does everybody, right? This is sticky, this table. Oh, it's a little sticky. There's, like, a ring on it. All right, um, vision. It says, trust in your ability to create the vision in your soul. All right. Cool. I'll put those over there. I should go wipe that up. All right. Messages, please. Remembrance. This one's only one that flipped up. All right, remembrance number thirty. Someone could like to look up at the stars, like, a, a lot. All right? I know most people do, but it's like, there's some people who, um, like it a lot. All right? Song, yeah, song, song of your soul. Song of your soul. And that's what I'm getting from, um, what was the last one? This vision one I got. It's like, um, what your, what lights your soul on fire. Like, you're very passionate. Um, and that is like... And the things that you do, you feel strongly about them. It's not just like, oh, I like to do this. Like, you deeply, you know, put your soul into it, right? Your soul feels it. And we got a timeline jump. Yeah, I got this. We, we, we um, have jumped timeline, all right? So some of those old ones drop off, right? Um, we can't get back on those timelines, the negative ones, certain ones, um, like... For instance, people wanting you to be like locked up in jail and all that. Like this what is the what are you doing, right? What are you what are you doing that's gonna get you you don't you don't do or hang out with the at all. It's like completely different energy you're in. So that's like unrealistic, right? For instance. And we got cosmic unity. Connected connectedness, all right? I wasn't going to, I wanted to read these, but let me see, 33, I'm sorry, 30. I said 33. All right, um, 
This one's short. This one's short. It says, we encourage you to remember. We encourage you to remind yourself of your Pleiadian origins beyond this earth incarnation. Within you rests a greater story that is revealed through the doorways of remembrance. To break down the word remember is to remember. These members include all forms of existence from plants to rocks to animals to trees, star people, and yes, humans. Each piece of the universe is a member, and when it reconnects, with the other membranes, we remember by allowing for all the notes of creation to come together in one universal symphony. To remember is another word for unification. When remembrance card is revealed, it's an ideal moment to rethread the pieces of your life by reuniting with a member. Whomever, 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 whatever is the first thought that comes to your mind, take a note and make it a priority to commune with that member, whether person, animal, or cosmic need nature um, make a commitment to meet this other aspect of yourself and know that through this connection pieces of the puzzle shall unfold gracefully an extra meaning of this card would indicate that you need to go outside for fresh air and interact with the world at a large commune with nature meet a good friend get out of your comfort zone get out of the house explore adventure and growth so what i'm getting is you need to get outside Go outside. I got the sun shining on me. All right, so someone needs to get outside and enjoy outside. I've been thinking a lot lately, like, um, where I want to live or, like, what I want to do. Like, I, I like to be outside. So um, for me, being, like, cooped up in the house is, like, um, I get claustrophobic, right? Especially in the wintertime. But, um... It, <sighs> It's like a whole different vibe outside. So you need to go outside. <laughs> Get some sun on your face. It's connecting. It's not even so much getting outside. It's connecting with nat with um, Mother Earth and your ancestors and all that. All right. Um, so uh, I'm just going to read the bottom of this one. It says, tune in, listen, stillness. And we got stillness here, right? So that's clarification, um, confirmation, whatever. Solitude, sound, healing, harmony, and trust yourself alone. All right, tune in, listen, stillness, yeah. So whether it's outside or just in general, um, it's about connecting to yourself, right? Sound healing, yeah, frequency, stuff like that. Harmony, trust yourself. Right. Alone. This is like but I'm picking up on meditation, right? Yeah, it's like knowledge of self, right? It says, um six talks about sacred geometry beyond the layers of light. It says on the deepest levels of source creation rests the sound harmonic frequency that is found in everything beyond the layers of light and even sacred geometry rests the foundation of sound is birth your nature into existence. When the subtleness of sound is uncovered on a deeper experience level all around you is revealed reveled to emit a sound frequency. You too are no different as your body is constantly emitting these vibratory signatures that connect you with all of existence. By receiving and listening to one's inner vibration, the hu human, it says the hue, gains the opportunity to consciously transform, transformation, their surroundings. Through the vehicle of sound, it becomes even greater emit of magnetic service. It says, as um, we are specialized in sound harmonics and all of our training begins through the art of self-tuning as every human has, as every being has the unique vibration. It says, this card may also indicate the time of trusting your messages and knowing that your inner feelings on a situation are accurate. All right. So I feel like that's important. All right. We got cosmic unity number 44. I'm just going to briefly skim them, guys. It's, I only get 26 minutes and 24 seconds on this, so that could be significant. This one's short. It says, The time has come to drop egos, drop hard-headed opinions, and un unify as, 
as humans, although I can't say that, Hughes, it sounds stupid, I'm sorry. It says, although it can be challenging with so many personalities and conflicting viewpoints in your diverse world, at its core wholeness, your your species is very very similar in nature with a common desire to feel needed, re- feel needed, receive love, Right. With a common desire to feel needed, receive love, be appreciated, and have one's basic survival needs met by reminding ourselves of these simplicity sim- similarities among all, we rewire our minds back to the field of unity. Um, when, the, when, the, when this card arrives, it's not a suggestion that you drop morals or put aside what is true in your heart, but rather find a common ground between you and this person or situation. You will find that as emotions settle, you seek out commonalities, and it's a beautiful blessing in disguise will be revealed. To reflect greater understanding in yourself, your merry universe is constantly showing up through a reflection of much greater lessons to be uncovered. Absolutely, I talk about this all the time, how we get sent um, into situations or around certain people that are like, for us, our growth, it's like... Uh, if it's challenging, that's it's supposed to be. It's like you came here for a specific purpose. You may not be conscious of it or like, all right, or specific lessons, right? It says, make this day of dropping your protective shield, taking a pause and asking your higher guidance to lead you into the field of cosmic unity. This is a way to ultimate healing where re- repetitive situations drop out of our lives as we are empowered so as our as empowered souls access the great teaching, greater teachings, you are a warrior of light. Seek unity. It's so a healing, oneness, let go, unification, and compassion. And we got timeline jump. I'll read this one. I might as well, right? All right. It's, it's not that long. Uh, it's freedom. Uh, the other meanings is freedom, op- options, movement, change of plans, moving on, new life, new beginnings, quantum fields. All right. It is held back from most of the human populace is a is a deeper reality that you are fully multidimensional beings in the truest form. Your soul resides in multiverse of, with infinite possibilities and timelines available. When one becomes conscious of these subtle fields, they gain the ability to consciously leap into other timelines that best serve the evolution and happiness. This quantum field is where one experiences a true freedom and empowerment to know all the consciousness is liquid and one and never stuck anywhere. Timeline jumping is not just some lingo out of a sci-fi movie. It is backed truth by many of our Earth quantum scientists who understand multiverses and infinite possibilities in the universe we reside in. I guess I understand it too because I see it's like, I see it so clearly. It says, when the timeline jump or card arrives, it's like natural to me though. It's, um, it's hard to explain. It indicates that you do not need to stay on your present timeline for you need, or it says, when the timeline card jump time appears it indicates that you do not need to stay on your present timeline for you reside in a multiverse of infinite possibilities now is a great moment to activate your natural timeline jumping skills and quantum leap onto the earth of your choosing yes recognize that you are a timeline jumper and through the vibratory match you will naturally cross over into a multiverse that matches your frequency no you are never stuck in a and source always provides infinite roads. <laughs> it says pause and contemplate on a time that timeline that you wish to jump on via a positive focused intention. It says example, a world full of peace, a world full of unity, a world where I am abundant. The more personal the intention, the stronger it can be felt. It said, once you have established a reality that you wish to enter, begin to feel the vibration of the multiverse in your emotions, thoughts, and feelings as you go deeper into the feeling level of what it's like to reside in that frequency. Make it juicy. Feel it authentically and sit in emotions and sense of being in full reality right here, right now. Once you have found the frequency, lock into it, but remain relaxed. Simply trust you are entering another field and surrender with Peace into the knowing that quantum universe is responding. Finally, let it grow. Let it go. Drop it. And I say grow. So when you let it go, you may let it grow, right? Drop any mind thoughts and simply be. The quantum field has a rest, has the rest of the equation. 
Wow. Wow. All right, let's let's use this deck here. Okay, you guys got that, right? I feel like I've been reading for so long. I had to come up for air. Um that's just man it's manifesting, right? But it's it's the power behind it now. It's like different now. Maybe because you've ascended, right? So it's like um it'll be more potent where before there were too many um too many cloud like too many and uh, that it's like infectious like around you like too many um saboteurs maybe it doesn't have to be person it could just be things places you were it's like things that would conflict with these timelines all right now you don't have that all right i feel like you're more of like not a loner but there's less interference is the word I'm looking for. Thank you. <laughs> All right. We got resolve. And why are they going to pull words? I don't know. Cognizance. <laughs> oh, all right. So it's knowing, right? I can pretty, I'm pretty good at like reading words. So like when I see something that really trips me up, I'm like, oh. All right, it says Desert Jasper, number 32, and Resolve, all right? And then we got 28, Mercury, Emerald, so communication. What's this? Well, I don't know why I picked this up, so I guess they want me to read from it. <laughs> I didn't realize. I must have got it out of the box. I just kept it in my hand. All right, you guys, bear with me. It's 10 more minutes on this. I'm just going to keep going with what I'm doing. Um, it says confidence. Confidence. What the hell does that say? One second, please. I don't know. It's, it's all right, there it is. Guys, I have no idea what that says. Settled. It says confident. Oh, assurance. Wow, that was a lot. I can't really see. It's the light. All right, here we go. All right, so we get Vesta, Desert Jasper is the stone or the crystal involved. It says your strength and discernment have led you to this, to this far. Uh, the, and, and the action you take next will determine how your life unfolds. Right. There are no right or wrong decisions. There's just an underlying confidence that you have what it takes to get you through any situation along your journey. No one else has been where you have been and no one else is able to give you the answers. So you must have faith and believe in yourself that you are resolved is that your resolve is most beneficial. The asteroid Vesta holds pure fiery goodness goddess energy that is representation of igniting your inner flame fueling your aspiration to achieve and accomplish vesta is put is your pretend pe, vesta is your potential at its finest it is your life force and your is essence and it will make you understand that all decisions you have made up to this point have brought you to this very moment yeah remain steadfast for the remainder of the journey until you embark on the next one take take desert jasper with you to the finish line is it Carries the energetic frequencies of the fire element and encourages is a confident, calm, and decisive nature that urges you to take action. Uh, it says it contains extremely grounding frequency that will center your mind, allowing you to connect your head and heart while making decisions you can feel secure and enthusiastic about. It says activation guidance. Take some time to reflect on where you began in this journey. Um, what were the moments that rested, that tested you? What were the moments of confirmation in which you felt utterly and truly supported by the universe? Hold space for all these feelings and experiences, for if you have one without the other, your journey would not have been uniquely yours. It says, I am confident and secure with the decisions I have made so far and will make in the future. I am a huge believer of that. Like, every decision we make affects our outcome or our path, right? Or what comes next. Like, we are truly in control of where we end up, like, when you ponder on that, right, um, 
um, pretty, pretty awesome. Right? So that when they say it's nobody's fault, like, when you get in trouble, it's like your own, eh, whatever. It's like your own fault, right? It's, who, it's nobody's fault but your own, right? If you listen to so-and-so tell you to do this and you did it and you got in trouble, it's like it's your own fault, right? We all have choices and there's consequences, right? Um, whether they're good, it's, you know, the outcome's good or bad. So cognizance, 28 emerald mercury, all right? It says understanding, Paradigm, mism, communication. So, like, all right. It says the way you learn to communicate is equal parts nature and nurture. You are influenced by the way you were raised, what you were taught in school, and what you subconsciously learned via observation. You're pro you process this information and personality quirks and tendencies develop as a result. Is your communication style balanced, soft, brash? Are you aware of the way you make others feel with your words? You are responsible for the way you process information and for, by the way, wow, this, these are so on target for what I, I, I concentrate on. It's crazy. Um, it says you are responsible for the way you process information and for how the, by the way you put it out into the world. Take this into account for the next few days during your interactions. Direct your awareness inward and observe how you're communicating with yourself. An awareness of self-talk is a powerful tool for development through your mental strength. As well as learning from your surroundings, Mercury plays a role in your communication style um, and impacts, uh, where was I? I had to look at the time. And impacts, how you interpret and process information. It is the smallest and fastest moving on the planet. It is the smallest and fastest moving of the planets and referred to as the messenger. Often Mercury's placement in your radio chart will bring valuable insight on how you need to adjust or develop the way you are speaking to others and yourself. Emerald is known as being the stone of intuition, insight, and vision. If using emerald in meditation or simply wearing them on your person, its vibrations can increase mental clarity and allow allow you to react to and, and interpret situations with intelligence and focus. Emeralds are also known to bring the surface of con unconscious mind, allowing you to tap into your clear cognizance abilities. And it says, look at a copy of your natal chart and identify what sign Mercury is located in. In defining this, you can unpack details of how your communication style has been birthed. And my, mine is Virgo. So I have Mercury in Virgo, which is um, the planet Mercury, right? Is that's um, Virgo's ruling planet? So that's interesting. Sorry, that sun is like right on me. So that's that's what I got for you guys. I was gonna come and do a tarot reading, but I got I got sucked into reading these. Um, maybe I can pull a couple. Um, I'll pull a couple of these. No, I'll do this, and then I'm going to leave it here. I might do one more reading after this one. I slept all day. Now I'm, like, wide awake. Like, for a while. You know what I mean? Could be a long night. I might go right to sleep at 7.30. You never know. I like to sleep. I like to sleep. I always did. Even as a kid, I wanted to go to sleep. What kid says they want to go to bed, you know? Anyways, opportunity, and it says no. So you're going to be getting an opportunity, and the answer is no. This opportunity. I'm going to pull some tarot on this just because um, cause of the how it came out like that. I don't even think I have tarot here. Hold on a second. Let me just go grab a deck. I only got a few minutes, though, so this might cut out, but I can't leave you guys with that. All right, what is this opportunity and no, please, for the collective? Eight of Swords. So this could be like a binding contract or something that... You, it's like you could be protecting yourself so you don't end up here. I remember what I was saying about um, 
the timeline and how like that lower timeline of you ended up in jail is just not it's not realistic because that's kind of what they wanted for you is um or in incapacitated whatever um yeah you're moving on from this yeah uh seven of swords what the hell is that here or is it this yeah, this is the police car, the chariot. <sighs> oh, God. Nine of, nine of Pentacles. They regret... Uh, the, all right, so... Why, why, is, why is this here? Whoever stole... Yeah, Nine of Wands. I have no idea what this is. So, someone... Someone's either in their head or, um, like in a mental prison, holding back for holding back something from you. We got, the, these people see this person, and the Seven of Swords is sneaky, right? And the Nine of Pentacles, right? This could be Virgo, this could be you, this could be someone sneaking away from you or trying to be sneaky around you. They have regrets, so whatever this is, they're in their head about this, or they're concerned um, mental complex. It says two and ones. They could be watching you online and, um, they look, they're looking like a little freaked out. Or this is you. I got 